What's up you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Annie here. So yes, this is not an arm workout video or a fitness video. We'll get back to those, I promise you. But a few of you wanted me to do a makeup video. So I figured I would just do an updated look. This is more of my holiday look, so we do have a little shimmer in there. If you wanna keep watching this, here it is. Okay, I hope I don't scare you with no makeup on. I know how to do my makeup, I should tell you this, super fast. My products are kinda random, but everything I use you basically can find at Nordstrom or Sephora. So let's do this. First things first is primer. This just helps my foundation just stick onto my face. So I use the Laura Mercier primer and this is the one in Illuminating. She has a few of them. Um, I like this one only because it leaves like, kind of like a glow within. And the foundation I'm using today is going to be the Lancome Tent Idole Ultra Wear. So just know it's the Ultra Wear Foundation by Lancome. It is so good, full coverage, but doesn't feel like you're wearing so much makeup. Use a big kabuki brush. A lot of my brushes are from It Cosmetics, which It Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands of makeup, of brushes, of skincare. They just do it right. A lot of my It Cosmetics products, yes, I buy on QVC. The home shopping network. I'm obsessed with QVC. For concealer, because that's pretty much the most important part, I use the Forever Skin Correct by Dior. Why I use this, and yes, it is a little bit pricey, is because it's full coverage, but it is so creamy, like so creamy, that when you blend it in, it doesn't look like cakey or a crease under those fine lines and wrinkles that we all have. Yes, we all have them. So I just use a damp sponge by Morphe. You can use a beauty blender sponge. I like it because it has a little moisture in it. So again, it doesn't look thick, cakey, and you really can press this into your skin so it doesn't sit on those fine lines. Whether I wear makeup or no makeup, this is a part of my routine every day. So I've said this before in my makeup videos, <laughs> Mali Beauty Dark Circle Corrector. If you're like, I've never heard of Mali Beauty, it is on QVC. You can buy like three of these for like $20. So you just twist it and a little bit of product comes out. When you put these little dots on your face, it's going to look white as you can tell. Believe me, all it does is brighten up the under eye. It does not look white on the skin. So I just kind of tap this in to brighten it up even more. This is optional, of course, but I do like to set my under eye. I know a lot of people don't. I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and this is only for the under eye. Still use the same damp beauty sponge. Anything having to do with under my eyes, I always use something damp. Again, to make it look as hydrated as possible underneath the eyes. My favorite, favorite, favorite powder is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in number two, medium, and I just take a big fluffy brush that I got at CVS or Walgreens and just, I think in England, if you're watching this, boots, is that the right one? Yeah. Up next, bronzer. You do not have to use bronzer. Some days I'm like, Meh, I don't really want to use it, and that's fine. I just take a big fluffy brush again now, with bronzer, I never like contour. You guys heard of contour, obviously, before. I just warm up my face. I actually use a liquid blush. You can use a cream blush. I just feel like, one, it stays on better and looks more natural. The more creamy products I can use, it doesn't look as cakey or powdery or dry on my skin. So I use the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. Now, it comes in just a regular powder blush, but I like this one because I can decide how pink I want it under my eye. I take a big blush brush, do it all over my hand, smile a little bit, and I build this blush up because again, it is so pigmented. Also on QVC, you guys, I'm obsessed with QVC as you can tell, but they have the best deals on like such nice makeup. So this is by Bobbi Brown and it is their Golden Slipper Eyeshadow Palette. It has like a little ballerina on it. This is so nice. 
It has all these matte natural brown colors and then gives you like three shimmer colors in here, which I use sometimes. So what I do is take just a flat brush. I'll go into the white shadow in here and I'll just kind of cancel out any blue or pinks on my eye. Then with a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with more of this like taupey color. And I'll just do it right in the crease. And then I like to carry that same taupey color underneath my eye. And then with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with the dark color. Not the darkest, but just like the medium dark color right here. And I put this in the outer corner of my eye. While I do this, I just wanna say I'm a big proponent of eyeshadow palettes. It prevents you from buying more beauty products than you actually need. And if you get a really natural one, like this beauty palette um, by Bobbi Brown, it gives you all the colors that you need to warm up those eyes. And I'm actually gonna take one of the shimmer colors. I think I'm gonna do the gold one. I just rub my finger into it, and then I put it just on the center of my lid. I'm going to take one of my favorite eyeliners by Charlotte Tilbury, you can tell, it's like this big now. This is just their classic brown pencil. And all I'm gonna do, cause I'm not good at eyeliner, is just do the lash line very thin. And I take like an eyeliner brush that's just like flat. And this is where I just kind of smoke it out. I go over it, smooth it out, bring out this trusty little guy. So before I put that mascara on, I do wanna say that I used to have eyelash extensions that just like ruined my eyelashes. So I bought Grande Lash and you just put it on at night on your lash line and it definitely brings your eyelashes back to life and lengthens them. Like sometimes I'm like, whoa, these are long, but this stuff is amazing. After like three weeks, you see a difference. Okay, mascara. This is Voluminous by L'Oreal. It's their original one. This is so good, I love this. It doesn't look like heavy or thick on your eyelashes, but it definitely gives the look that I feel like everyone's looking for, full and long. I'm going to paint my eyebrows on because as you can tell, there's like hardly any hair right here. So I just take this pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills in soft brown, and I will just pencil pretty much just the outer corners of my eyebrows. To keep those puppies in place, I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Eyebrow Gel. This stuff is like glue. And last but not least, I love lipstick so much and I love lip gloss. I do have to say though, in this time of pandemic and COVID, obviously we're all wearing masks, so lip gloss and lipstick is kind of like out the door, but when I'm just around like family, I use the Bobbi Brown lip color in pale pink, even though it looks more like a rose color. It's a very natural, almost like your lip color, but a little bit darker. Very moisturizing. See, it's very natural and subtle. And then rose lip glosses are my absolute favorite. It brings out any blue eye, green eye, great for brunettes. I feel like Rose colored anything is such a universal color for a lip. So this is the Bobbi Brown Rose Sugar. It's like a tint of rose, but it's a nice little gloss over top. All right, you guys, so what do we think? This is the final look in a more natural light. So you can tell my blush and bronzer, very natural and subtle. The only thing that really pops are my eyes, which I'm fine with. I have colored eyes, so it's nice. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna see more like this, awesome, leave comments down below. Otherwise, we'll just stick with fitness videos. All right, I'll see you in another video.